The concept of going low carb during pregnancy to treat gestational diabetes is one that's been hotly contested. And here to do just that is Dr. Amy Valent and Dr. Terry Hernandez. Thanks for your time this morning. No, thanks for inviting us. All right, let's get started with where this concept for a low carb diet as a treatment option for gestational diabetes even came from. Yeah, you know, it's a really great question and sometimes we can get our answers from history. We realize that within the era of insulin that not only does blood sugars um, save people's lives while they're pregnant, but also by controlling blood sugars that we're able to actually make differences in perinatal outcomes. So from that, obviously, others, experts in the field, up until the last probably 50 years or so, have kind of demonstrated that there's a correlation with carb consumption and blood sugars in pregnancy. And so based on that, we've kind of evolved into kind of going more towards lower carb intakes during pregnancy for treating diabetes um, in general. Dr. Hernandez, you are not in favor of a low carb diet to treat gestational diabetes. Is that because you don't believe that there's kind of a one size fits all nutrition approach for patients? I think um, my position on this um, is is really is really in favor of creating options for women. Dr. Valent, though, is there uh, data to back up a low carb diet for those with gestational diabetes? From specifically looking at gestational diabetes and low carbs, there are more data that are coming out that people are looking at looking at differences in carbohydrate content. At least it's not showing for what data is available is that it's harmful per se um, when we look at pregnancy outcomes, but the data isn't robust. That's so fascinating that you said it might not be harmful. It leads me right into my next question. Mm -hmm. Do you believe that there could be some negative side effects for women who adopt a low carb diet during pregnancy? What would those be? I think the best way to frame that question is what are the potential concerns or questions about going below you know, low carb, meaning either 40% of total calories or 175 grams per day, which by the way are two very different questions. First, uh, mother's physiology and how it's tightly integrated with the baby's physiology, the fetal physiology, really depends on the idea that mother's glucose needs to be higher than the baby's. So if mothers, theoretically, cut enough carbohydrate and don't take in enough glucose, that gradient that ensures the baby gets the right energy from mother's glucose could be jeopardized. The second consideration is exposure to ketones. Um, so as carbohydrate intake uh, is further reduced, you know, across kind of a continuum, um, mothers can become ketotic. Um, and in pregnancy, they're prone to that anyway. And so there are some concerns that that could uh, jeopardize the baby's intellectual development um, and development of the brain. And then two other quick considerations um, are micronutrient deficiency. So I just think that we need to be very intentional if women are on a lower carbohydrate diet option to make sure that their micronutrients are supplemented. With reduced carbohydrate, typically comes with higher fat intake. And so I, with others, have raised questions about if that heightens maternal insulin resistance. Dr. Valent, final question goes to you. We've been talking about a low carb diet as a method to treat those with gestational diabetes already. For those who do not have it, and might be considering adopting a low carb diet as a preventative measure, what do you say? Certainly from lifestyle studies, there is a lot of heterogeneity to those types of studies. Nutrition studies are really hard to do. Um, and at least for now, it doesn't seem to be that low carb potentially would be preventative. Um, but I think it's also part of the pathologic process that we need to have a better understanding of, of the natural process. Thank you for both of your perspectives. Appreciate it. Thank you so much.